When the time came for the Orachayim to take leave of this world, he called his wife closer. She saw how weak he was and bent nearer, and he said, After my death, a wealthy man will come from Kushta and offer you 300 gold pieces for my tefillin. Don't refuse his request, but be sure to tell him to be careful with the tefillin and never let himself become distracted for the slightest time while wearing them. The wife of the Orachayim vowed to do as he had asked, and then he closed his eyes and breathed his last breath. All of Israel was saddened by his death. Many mourned for him for 30 days. And after the 30 days had ended, a wealthy man from Kushta came to the rabbi's wife and asked to purchase the rabbi's tefillin exactly as he had foreseen. She informed the man of the rabbi's request that he take care not to be distracted while wearing the tefillin. And he in turn vowed to receive the tefillin on those terms. In this way did the rabbi's wife fulfill her vow to her husband, and the gold she received saved her from a life of poverty for the rest of her days. The morning after returning home, the wealthy man put on the tefillin for the first time. As he did, he felt a transformation. It was almost like the feeling he had on the Sabbath, when each person receives an extra soul. It was the very soul of the Orachayim accompanying his own. That day, the man prayed with fervor he had never known, nor imagined that he could ever attain. But with the soul of the rabbi, like a wind soaring beneath his own, his prayers ascended on high. After praying, he took the tefillin off in the prescribed manner, and when he did, he felt the extra soul depart, exactly as happens at the end of the Sabbath. And he was filled with wonder at the miracle of those tefillin. From that day on, the wealthy man guarded the tefillin as his most prized possession. Each time he put them on, he took care that his concentration was complete. And each time he finished binding the tefillin, the spirit of the Orachayim returned to him, and his prayers soared to the palaces on high. During this time, his thoughts were much clearer, his soul was much calmer, and he saw, as never before, the harmony of creation and the presence of God in the world. But once, while the man was wrapped in his talus and tefillin, a servant distracted him with a matter concerning his store. And when the man returned to his prayers, he found that the Holy Spirit that had been with him has, was gone. Nor in all the times he put on the tefillin after that did the soul of the Orachayim return. At last, in desperation, the man took the tefillin to a sofer. And when the sofer opened the houses of the tefillin, he took out the parchments, and he was amazed to find that they were blank, not a single letter written on them. For the instant the man had turned away, every letter had taken flight, along with the soul of the Or HaChaim. This story comes from Gabrielle's Palace, Jewish Mystical Tales, selected and retold by Howard Schwartz.